What's going on guys, Damien here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I thought today I would do something a little bit different because unfortunately the parts that I thought were gonna be ready aren't ready. There's a little bit of a wiring issue, which I'll delve into later in another episode. But today I thought I'd do something a bit different where I would show just starting off a couple of the parts that I have done and just a couple of the merch things that I have done so far. Uh, and then we're going to get into detailing my car because it's been sitting, as I mentioned in the previous episode, for about two months and it is really in need of attention. It's looking pretty sad. Uh, so we're going to give the paint a bit of love, a bit of a clean up, ready for when the parts do come in. And we can finally get to that dry. Uh, and then there's something very, very cool happening just after that where we're going to be doing some performance things to increase the reliability of it. So and hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so the first part that has taken the longest time due to multiple issues is the headlights. So I had Mark II headlights before this, but they were LED and they weren't actually in properly. Uh, I didn't have the proper globe locators or anything like that, so they weren't really secure. Now, part of the problem I had with that was I bought non-genuine lights originally. Now, there was a few issues, one being they didn't have the park globe holes actually into the lens so you can actually put park globes in um, but they just weren't the quality that I was hoping for so even though I got those painted I got them back and they just weren't going to work and they weren't up to the standard I needed them to be uh, so I went ahead and ordered genuine um, Mark II headlights from Ford had to get them painted now I just got them back but now I've got a problem because there is a patch loom that Maculex sells that I don't have from Mark 1 to Mark 2. I didn't have that before because it was LED. I went about it a different way. Um, but I've ordered that patch loom, so that's why I can't actually get the headlights in now. Uh, but I, th I thought I'd just show you guys real quick anyway um, to give you an idea of what's gonna be going in and what it's gonna look like. And yeah, but I think they're going to look pretty killer. Now what you can't really see is that does actually have metallic in it, in the paint. Now they have all been cleared. Um, but yeah, she looks sweet. The next part I wanted to show you guys was my manifold covers that I actually make and sell. Um, they'll be on the final form page. If you do want them, I'm going to put my Instagram page, so just private message me through my Instagram page if you are interested. Now these suit FG to FGX Falcons, and they do fit over the existing factory heat shields, or you can run them without them. Now the final thing is the final form logo stickers so that is actually one that's going to go on the window banner like I said in the last episode I'm going to have to get the backing now it really is up to you guys you can run it without I've run mine without at the moment and honestly it looks pretty sick I'm just going to see what it looks like with the strip along the windscreen how I've sort of imagined it should look good but we'll see and the other thing is these small ones at the moment so there's chrome silver or white I am going to be doing more colors um, so it'll be $20 for the big one, $7 for the small one. If you're keen, again, I'll link my Instagram in the description. Message me through there and yeah, we'll get it happening. The only other thing I forgot to mention was on the Final Form Facebook page, um, I'm gonna be holding once a month a competition where you send in photos of your rides and I'll pick a winner and send you guys out a sticker. And that's gonna be the small one initially. And obviously as we go along, the winner's gonna get better and better prizes. The more people we get, good luck to you guys, and I'm looking forward to seeing all the rides. Gonna be sweet. <laughs> oh yeah. Race car, mate, she's a fast one, eh? I mean, I probably shouldn't do that voice in this day and age, but whatever. Yeah, realize that it's a joke, hey? Uh, but yeah, let's get into this detailing and hopefully bring some of this paint back to life. Now, you're not really going to be able to tell, but it's got all sorts of minor swirl marks and just marring because the Ford Black silhouette is actually really soft as far as paint goes. Um, so let's get into it. We've got all sorts of goodies to try and bring it back to life. Let's get it happening. Join the flow.
So just got done, as you would have seen, in the hyperlapse, just washing it down, rinsing it, then putting the snow foam on. I uh, got in with the wheel gerbil, and now I've just put some wheelie clean on, so it's just working away there, and then I'll rinse that off again. And then we're going to do a final rinse and get on to the clay barring to really get into this grit that has worked its way into this paint. Well, that's a wrap on that. Uh, so as you saw, just did the wash, rinse, uh, got onto the clay bar, which I didn't film because it's just tedious and I'm pretty sure you know how to clay bar. If you don't, it's pretty simple. You put the clay bar onto the paint. <laughs> uh, also too, because it was my first time doing it because I've usually just paid someone to do it because I'm usually slack like that. So that'll be a wrap on today's video, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. I know it was only so-so. I did plan to have the car running and go on a bit of a cruise. Uh, plus there is going to be a transformation video up and coming, so I was going to get the footage for that. Um, but I thought I'd just show you what I could, and yeah, see you in the next one.